Hello, my name is Brachi Levin, and I will be the moderator tonight. Welcome and happy Hanukkah to all. Wow, this year is Calgary's 32nd annual community menorah lighting. Very different, but still real community. May seem like a step backwards, but certainly more light and more community spirit. Tonight, it is the Alberta Community Menorah Lighting. We will all kindle our own menorahs in our own homes together with Alberta's first and original giant menorah located along 14th Street at Heritage Park. Of course, a community is made up of individuals. Tonight, every individual person and menorah counts. Make sure to have your menorah and candles ready. We will be getting to those soon. This evening's program will naturally be a mixture of formality mixed with coziness and feeling at home, literally. So get comfortable and enjoy. Wow, our virtual room is filling up quickly. Welcome everybody who's just joined. And as always at the Community Menorah Lighting, we begin with introducing and welcoming our leaders and dignitaries. So let's get started. You can keep your eyes on the screen. Easy, easy event here. And we will see all of those that are joining us today. And once again, welcome to every one of you who is a unique dignitary and leader in these challenging times. We do apologize if we miss someone and to those of you who didn't make it in due to the last minute nature of things this year. Easy and quick fix, just introduce yourself in the chat box. We would all love to know that you are here with us. Keeping the menorah lighting tradition in full swing, it is my greatest honor to introduce the participation of both Jewish day schools in our community. Akiva Academy, followed by the Calgary Jewish Academy, followed by the umbrella organization in Calgary, the Calgary Jewish Federation. Enjoy.
Chag Sameach to all of you who have joined us this evening. My name is Jordan Balaban, and along with my co-president, Jared Shore, and the rest of our board of directors, we bring greetings on behalf of Calgary Jewish Federation. It is wonderful to know that in spite of all the challenges that we face with this pandemic, that we have both the miracle of technology and the burning sense of community to allow us to be apart physically, yet together virtually and spiritually in celebration of our Chag Chanukah. Chanukah, the festival of lights, reaffirms the absolute importance of keeping the ideals of our Judaism in spite of any obstacles or challenges. We're proud of our Jewish community for joining under these unique circumstances and collectively performing the important mitzvah of lighting the Hanukkah candles in commemoration of our history. For all that we face, there is much to be grateful for. And as we often say, Leshana Haba'a Yerushalayim, next year in Jerusalem, so may we say tonight, next year at City Hall. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. Thank you, Halpern Akiva Academy and CJA for those adorable performances. And thank you to Jordan and Jared for the beautiful message and greetings. And now everybody, Let's get ready to be amazed. If you have your props ready to actually take part and feel the magic in your own hands, get those playing cards out and enjoy. In life, there are many, many magical things. You can create a beautiful world of magic and the secret lies in one simple step. The concept of understanding how humans think and then therefore creating a method that uses their own brain as a weapon against them. Watching a crowd, seeing how they enjoy it, seeing their, their face and their mouths gasp. All that matters is the excitement and the joy that I get from standing in front of a crowd and making them believe that anything is possible. Hello, hello. Thank you very much. How are you all you guys doing? So this is a little bit weird. This is a little bit different here in South Africa, 2.30 in the morning or something like that. And over there in Toronto. So let's get started. This is the idea. I believe that I don't want you guys to trust me. I want you to have to experience the magic happening in your hands. So for that to happen, we ask that everyone please bring with them nine cards, nine playing cards or nine Uno cards, anything. It doesn't really matter as long as they're different on the faces and they're the same on the backs. Different on the faces, same on the backs. And this is what we're going to do. Take out those nine cards now. This is when we're going to use them. So before we begin, everyone shuffle up your cards. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Make sure they're well mixed. Next, what I would like you to do is go through your cards and find one card that you want to memorize. Take that card out. Once you've separated it from the pack, make sure you remember that card, lock it in there. Put that card on top. Now take a card from the bottom of the pack and transfer that to the top. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit weird, a little bit different. I'm gonna ask you to please watch me do it first and then you'll follow after. We are gonna spell out our names. Each of us are gonna spell out our own name. And for every letter of our name, we deal one card onto the table. So my name is Ilan. So I spell out I, 
L A N Ilan. The remaining cards get dropped on top. Your turn now. Spell out your name and for every letter of your name, deal one card onto the table. The remaining cards go on top. Now I'm going to ask you to pick up your cards and we're all going to do this next part together. We are going to spell out the word magic. So you hold the cards in your hand like so and we're going to spell out magic together. M A G I C magic. The remaining cards drop on top. Now for the final step, we're going to do something a, a little bit different. We're going to add a little bit of chaos into this. And this is how we're going to do it. Uh, I want you to hold the cards like so again, then deal one card onto the table. Now deal another one on top of that. And again, a third one. And you can continue dealing and stop whenever you want to stop. You can go all the way until the end if you wish, or you can stop now. It's entirely up to you. If you do have any remaining cards, you drop those on top. Great. So now let's recap before we continue. Before we, we began, we shuffled up the cards. We memorized one card and we returned it to the pack. We then spelt out our names. For every letter of our name, one card goes down. We have different letters in our names, different amount of letters. I've got four for Ilan. You might have five or six or seven. Someone might even be named Bob, has three. Then we spelt out the word magic, five letters. And finally, then we dealt cards onto the table. Some guys might have dealt nine cards. Some might have done none. We all have a different order of cards right now on our table. So pick up your cards, hold them like this. Deal off the top three cards. Look at the back of the cards. Uh, get rid of those. I don't believe your cards there. Deal off the next two cards. Look at their backs. I don't believe your cards there either. Deal off a single card. Look at the back of that card. I don't believe your cards there either. Wait. Finally, deal off one card. Don't look at it just yet. Get rid of the other cards, the remaining card, that one card you're holding on to. I believe that is your card. My card was the Queen of Hearts. And I found the Queen of Hearts. Turn your card over, everyone. If you found your card, let us see. Show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. Let's see your cards, everyone. See gallery view. Good, there we are. We've got some guys. We've got Cole. Cole, well done. Matthew, nice. Ten of diamonds. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for helping out there. Who else has your cards? We've got uh, Mr. Baker. Uh, Mr. Baker. Good. Thank you. And we've got Adam. Thank you very much, everyone, for playing along. Thank you for helping. If you've got it correct, thank you so much. If you did not, if you were not able to get that correct, please take these cards home and practice. So for this next little part, I'd like to do something truly sugar, truly crazy. And for that, I need someone to help me out. Let's go for someone. Let's see. Um, sure. Let's go for a Sam. Can we get a, a, a Sam Cole? Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Good. There you go. Can you uh, hear me? Just, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank God. Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. Cool. So this is what we're going to do. Um, sure. Uh, currently, how are you? Are you talking to me? It looks like you're on your phone or iPad. I'm on an iPad. On? iPad. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Have you got Have you got a phone nearby that you can use as well? I do. Thank you. I would like you to please go to the website WikiCount. Wikicount.net. Okay. I want you to go to their website and let me know once you are there. I'll let everyone know what you're doing. In the meantime, uh, Wikicount is a is a website that it's affiliated to Wikipedia. It's the stats about Wikipedia. How many? It's specifically about English articles, but how many articles are there? How many words per article? Just interesting numbers and stats. It's interesting because it's constantly changing. Uh, Sam, are you on on that page? I yes. am. Can you show it to the screen? 
I don't know if you can Hold see. it there. Perfect. Thank you. So the, like, here we go. There's all the stats about Wikipedia. I've got my uh, calculator open. Can you please tell me, it says there in those big numbers, how many articles are there currently on Wikipedia right now? 6,205,582. Like that. 6205582. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's a lot of articles. Now, uh, Sam... <laughs> There was times underneath there's a smaller number it's about 1000 something how many words on average are there per article 1200 so 1200 now check this out equals now that's crazy there are nearly seven and a half a billion that's billion words on wikipedia right now because they're constantly changing so seven and a half billion words on wikipedia now, Sam, what I would like you to do is this. Knowing that, I want you to, underneath, it, it says, uh, like, visit Wikipedia or something. Can you see that? Yes. Can you please click on visit Wikipedia? Okay. Yes. Now, now, Sam, this is the idea. I'm going to ask you, don't do it just yet, but I'm going to ask you to please search for something on Wikipedia. Before you do that, before you do that, Sam, I could have somehow... Uh, so like use social media and stalked you and find out about your likes and dislikes or you know all that sort of, like sort of stuff so you can search for something close to you but i might be able to guess that so you can also search for something entirely generic it's entirely up to you you can search for anything you want please do it now click the the, the magnifying glass and search for something but don't tell me what you're searching for okay and let me know once you're done No pressure. <laughs> it's just loading. Okay, cool. Good. So now uh, the thing that you searched for, let me know when it actually does come up. I'm going to ask you to do something with it. Is it there? No, it's not loading. One second here. It's taking so long. Let me try once more. Let's see, anything going on here? It's just not loading. It's not loading? I need oh, to actually yeah. have the article come up and see the picture. So do, do you want to try something else? Yeah, maybe. Not much time, so let's, let, let's just do this. I'm going to put into the chat another website I want you to go to. Not sure why it's not loading. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Check. There's a, a website, Quick Sketch. Can you see it in the actual chat? Let me go and see here. Check into the chat. This, um... Oh, perfect. So click yeah. on the so, quick. Yeah, oh. uh, Quick Sketch. So the reason why, I, and you and you can do that on your, sorry, rather, uh, call, um, Sam, rather do that on your device that you're not watching on because else your camera goes off. The reason why I want you to do that is I'll put into the chat simply because so my accent and you can understand what the what the link is. Are you on that page? On my other device, I'm going to go onto that page. Yes. Are you are you on that web page there on that kids sketching app? Not yet. I'm just going on with my other <laughs> other app. Okay, perfect. OK, cool. let me know once you're there. OK. So while you're doing that, I'll let everyone know. Um, it's a little kids sketching app. You can make little drawings and you can color in and all things like that. They put a picture there every now and then. They change the picture. Okay, perfect. I'm just going into the chat. Can you put it once more? Okay, type it in. Quick, as in fast sketch as in drawing dot co forward slash sketch as in drawing up as in up at up let me know when you're there going fast here say again 
Uh, quick sketch drawing app, right? Okay, so we're not having luck with technology. Let, can, can I show you something else? You are running out of time. Let me show you something else, Sam. <laughs> okay. No worries. Here goes. Good. So this is the idea. I've got a calculator, the nice and big. You're going to see what this is. Um, here goes. What I want you to do is I'm going to ask. Let's go for. We're going to we're going to get you and one other spectator to help us out for this. Um, I need a a four digit number. A four digit number. Four Any digit four digits. Yeah. How about one thousand four hundred ninety two? One thousand four hundred and ninety two. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'm going to need an, another spectator. Can we choose someone else here as well? Keep Sam around, and can we get someone else up? I was nervous of Tom here. While they're doing that, I just want to let you know, I do have a prediction. We're going to hold this right over here. Okay. And we're going to call somebody else up. In the chat, let's do that. In the chat, the first person to put any four digit number in the chat, that's the number we're going to use. So we're using Sam's, there we go. Five, oh, 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 easy, 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 everyone, it's done, it's done. So Sam's number was uh, 1492, 1492. The first number in the chat, we're going to use that as well. That will be 3668. So it'll be times 3668. Perfect. Last thing is um, that number was from uh, Brad, Brad. So Sam, that's your number, times Brad's number, times my own three digit number equals. Now that's our number. Now I've got a prediction here, but before I show you this prediction, that number, okay, sure, that number's huge. It is 407,104,000. And 40. Can you see that? 407,104,040. Now, this is not Brad's number. This is not Sam's number. This is not my number. It's our number together. And the reason why I wanted to use numbers together is I want to show you how crazy things are when we use magic together, when we work together, the incredible magical things we can do. So that's our numbers put together. My prediction from before we began was 407 million, 407 million, 104,000 and 40, 400, 407, 104 and 40, Four, 407 million, 104,000 and 40. Now that is that's a really big number. But what's more important is this, is that Brad, that this is not just your number, nor is it yours, Sam, nor is it mine. It's our number together. Because it's our number together. Why? Because when we work together and when the human race, when we help each other, we create light, we create magic. And when we do that, we can turn the world over and we can make this a beautiful place. And when we turn the world over, it says Chanukah. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Sorry about the other tech not working on I your saw... side with the, <laughs> with, you know, uh, Wi-Fi and whatever it is, but we've got this for you. Go out, make the world a better place. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Cheers, Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Back to you guys. Hello and wow, thank you, Ilan, and thank you, Sam. And like you said, life now is all about, we know that very well for the past months of training, that it's about making whatever work, no matter what's thrown at us. And you did just that. So thank you so much. Moving along, we all know that our government officials are extremely busy these days as we can all, we all know and we can imagine. Nonetheless, our Calgary mayor made the time to join us with special greetings. His words from the heart speak for themselves. Let's welcome His Worship, Mayor Nahid Nenshi. Hello, I'm Nahid Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary. Happy Hanukkah. This is tough. You know, 10 years ago, when I met Rabbi Matasov for the first time, it was at the lighting of the community menorah. He gave me a purple kippah, which I still have, though I'm at home and it's in the office. 
And every year since then, I have so looked forward to lighting the shamash. It's been a great blessing for me personally. And welcome all in our community. And it's been so symbolic of our community and how we accept and welcome all in our community. And I always say the same thing every year at Hanukkah. I talk about how this particular commemoration of light chasing away darkness, of never giving up hope, no matter how bad it looks, is a real story for our times. And man, oh man, is it a story for 2020. So I am so sad that I'm not with you at City Hall in Calgary's living room lighting that giant community menorah. This year, I swear, I would have hit the wick the first time on the Shamash instead of taking forever while everyone was watching. But I'm so happy that the Chabad has continued the tradition of the community menorah. I know it's been tough, but they're going to bring the light of Hanukkah to over 10,000 people. And what could be a better Hanukkah story than just that? So let's remember in this hard year where we've lost so much, where we've mourned so much, where we've grieved so much. It was still a year when babies were born and anniversaries were celebrated. People got married, albeit in a socially distanced way, where people graduated high school and had great personal victories. But most important, a year where we all learned and remembered the true meaning of compassion. So may our new traditions for this year, traditions of compassion, carry us through into the future. So even though it feels so different this year, let's remember that everything we do is about keeping everyone safe and about looking after our community. And that is a great Hanukkah blessing. Tikkun Olam, heal the world. That's what we're doing every single day. So thank you all. I live in gratitude to live in this community. There's nowhere in the world I'd rather be. There's no one else I'd rather be with than Calgarians as we get through all of this together. And in the common greeting of our faiths, let me say to you, Salam, Shalom. I wish you a year of peace. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Could you hear me now? Thank you, Mayor Nenshi, for the warm message and words. We miss you here in person, but safety comes before all. And now, everybody, for one of our biggest highlights of the night, menorahs, lighting our menorahs. So let's all get our menorahs ready, whether you have your own, whether you have one from the Hanukkah experience box that you got. Let's get our menorahs out. Make sure your cameras are on so that we can really feel the community spirit and unity of everyone that's on here. And let us join Rabbi Matasaf, who here, who he, together with Rebbitz and Matasaf, are the ones behind this enormous project of bringing the community menorah lighting to our living rooms with the two and a half thousand special Hanukkah gift packages that went out together with this Zoom broad broadcast, really expanding the Calgary community menorah lighting to Alberta's community menorah lighting. Now, let's all keep our menorahs close and ready and let's watch Rabbi Matasaf being lifted, lifting us all up to greater heights. Let's connect to the rabbi. Hey, welcome! Happy Hanukkah! I will never forget 32 years ago when we were standing here with uh, our good friend Harold and uh, the mayor Dua. It was freezing a couple days before with minus 30. 
And as Harold reminds me always of the miracle when we, when we have written to the Rebbe and asked for a blessing, and that was the first here at Heritage Park, and then we got a beautiful Chinook, and we had about 300 people that came then for the first community menorah lighting, and today we have over 300 on the Zoom, and if, if, which means about a thousand people that are joining us tonight, and we're joining you with lighting of the menorah. So we will begin with lighting of the shamesh, and, uh, and every one of you, please light the shamesh as well. I'll I'm here with my son, Shleimele, who is going to hold the microphone while we are doing that. And bear with me, hopefully technology is going to work. Yay, the Shamesh is on. So uh, Mazel Tov, and I, I'll give a minute to everyone to light the Shamesh. And yes, Mayor Nancy, we do miss you, but we are in it together. So everyone in your homes, uh, now from the candle of the Shamesh, we will take the light and we will kindle the first candle on the right for the, with following uh, the three blessings, the three brachas that we're going to recite together. Now let's remember, the menorah and, and the Hanukkah candles are meant to be lit at home. The public menorah lightings and the community menorah lightings are only to enhance and to remind ourselves of, the, of how we need to brighten our homes uh, with the light of the menorah. At the same time, the menorah is meant to be lit when it's dark outside. This year we are all facing a unparalleled darkness, a darkness of isolation, a darkness of fear, a darkness of the unknown of what the tomorrow will bring comes the bright uh, and the light of the menorah, the miracle of Hanukkah, and reminds us that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, that there is a bright tomorrow, and we shouldn't care only about ourselves. In darkness, we only see ourselves. When there is light, we see our neighbor, reaching out to our neighbors, of course, only in, 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 safe, in the, the safest ways possible, and when it's not safe, we need to take care of our health. But at the same time, whenever possible, and I never heard uh, that, a, that, a, that corona will be transmitted by a telephone call or, by, or on Zoom. So we should call each other, wish each other a safe and happy and healthy Hanukkah and make sure that no one is isolated and no one is left in the dark. Now, please, everyone, join me. We'll recite the three blessings. And then after the lighting, please, let's demonstrate our lights on, on the Zoom and, uh, and show each other the tremendous amount of light that was brought to our city and our province and to our, neighbor, our, neighbor, the, our neighbors in Yukon and, and uh, throughout the world. So everyone together with joy, and with happiness and with warmth, we'll recite the blessings together. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedeshanu BeMitzvayisav VeTzivanu LeHadlik Neir Chanukah Baruch Atah Adonai. Eloi heinu melech oilom, sheoso nisim laveiseinu, bayomim oim, bizman hazeb. Baruch ato adinoi, Eloi heinu melech oilom, shechionu vekimonu vigionu, Lizman Hazen.
happy Hanukkah to all. And at this point, if my technology is going to work, we're going to recite together. Take off, take off, take off my uh, glove. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my uh, little assistant, Shlemele, thank you. And we're going to recite together the Anere Salolu. This kindles will, uh, my, uh, we kindle these lights to commemorate the saving acts, miracles, and wonders which you have performed for our uh, forefathers in those days at this time through your uh, holy priests. Throughout the eight days of Hanukkah, these lights are sacred, and we are not permitted to make use of them, but only to look at them in order to offer thanks and praise to your great name for your miracles, for your wonders, and for your salvations. Ladies and gentlemen, children, kinderlech, everyone, thank you very much for the amazing, amazing support, help, and community that we are blessed to be in and to be part of. It was a real amazing 32 and 33 years in Alberta, and we're looking forward for more warmth and brightness and the community together bringing light and sharing warmth and care for each other. It is uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us this evening. And at this point, I will invite a very good friend, our own cantor, Alex Stein, that even though you're not with us for a few years, you will always remain Cal a, a Calgarian. And Calgary, as we know, is always very close to your heart. Alex, please take over. Everybody join me. Sameach, 
I'm so happy. I want to thank Rabbi and Rebetzin Menachem and Erochelim Atisov for inviting me not only to Calgary but to the whole of Alberta. A happy Hanukkah to everyone. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. Oh dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay, dreidel, 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 and baby we shall play. Oh dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Oh, dreidel, I shall play. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much, Alex. I think we all feel the warmth that you just brought throughout the entire Alberta. As you said, we miss you here. We are now honored to share the special Hanukkah message from our premier, the Honorable Jason Kenney, followed by a message from the Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism and, Multiculturalism and Status of Woman, the Honorable Leela Ahir. A light in the darkness, the symbol of the menorah at the time of Hanukkah, what a powerful symbol of the Jewish people. A symbol rooted in history 2,100 years ago, the victory of Judah Maccabee, the uh, cleansing, the purification, and the rededication of the Second Temple, a victory for religious freedom over oppression, and an enduring symbol of the triumph of light against darkness. We need such symbols. We need such spiritual resources now, especially in this year of darkness and adversity for so many this year of pandemic. Thank you to the Jewish community for the fidelity represented by the miracle of the lamps of uh, the menorah. Thank you for sharing uh, the tradition of Hanukkah with our broader society. I hope that in this challenging year, as many of you have to gather at Hanukkah, uh, virtually around the menorah light that um, you'll pray for all of those affected by COVID-19, by the economic and social adversity through which we are living, and that you will find some renewal and a sense of hope for the year to come. Uh, so to all of you in the Jewish community here in Alberta and around the world, Hag Hanukkah Shemech, Happy Hanukkah. next eight days, Jewish Albertans will light a new candle on their menorah each Good night afternoon. in My recognition name is Mike Lebrecht, of Hanukkah. And I'm the branch manager of Waste this Services is a symbol the of the of miracle that it's happened my pleasure to more than 2,000 years Kenny. ago Jason when one Nixon, night's worth of oil of lasted eight Parks, days during McDonald's the rededication CEO. of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. Normally, families would celebrate together with special treats and games and gifts. This year, celebrations, as we all know, are going to be very different as we all reduce our contact with people outside of our households. I hope Albertans celebrating Hanukkah are able to find new and wonderfully innovative and safe ways to celebrate, whether it be virtually or from a distance. May the Festival of Lights be a source of hope in the darkness, just as it has been for thousands of years, as well as a reminder of what faith and perseverance can achieve. Hag Hanukkah Sameach. 
As we welcome and we recognize the participation of people that are joining us tonight from all over the world, of course, we want to give a special shout out to and welcome to our Alberta small town communities. I see there are people we were I was looking through the gallery view that are joining us from Edmonton, Canmore, Lethbridge. We have um, people joining us from Yukon, and I'd like to give a special welcome. There you are. Hello, Mr. Rick Karp, who is the president of the Jewish Cultural Society of Yukon. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight, and thank you for hand delivering the many boxes that were sent to the Jewish community in Yukon for getting that and spreading the light and love of Hanukkah. Thank you so much for being here. And as we're nearing the end of tonight's program, it is raffle time. So what I need everybody to do is to get out your raffle card. So in your Hanukkah gift box, you got a little keychain full of stuff. And the first one on the back, you got a raffle ticket. Now this raffle ticket at the bottom has a number. Your number is different from everybody else's number. Everyone got their own number. So keep that near you, that is your number. Anyone who entered the raffle online, your name has been entered into our raffle as well. So you have your entry by number and your entry if you entered your name online um, on menorah.ca. So for many years, we've had the special State of Israel Bonds raffle at our menorah lighting which was generally, generously sponsored by Mr. Leonard and Fagel Shapiro. This year, we added more gifts to our raffle. Thank you to all our donors and sponsors who made this happen. So here we go with our first raffle. This is how it's going to work. We have our raffle wheel. Keep your eyes on the screen. And if you are a lucky winner, if it is your number, make sure to keep your card. You'll need it to claim it. And you could send a private message in the chat box to Chabad Alberta to let us know that you are the winner. Here we go with our first raffle for a $100 gift card for the Israel Bonds. One, one, five, two, two, not even close to my number. Mazel tov to our first winner. Let us know in the private chat if that is you and let's move along to our second raffle. For our second raffle of the night, we will be raffling off. Let's just get that up there. A hundred dollar gift card to the Discovery Hut toy store. So that's a very exciting raffle for you or to gift to somebody. And keep, keep those cards. We have more raffles coming. Let's get that drink. <laughs> You are the winner, 10487. And for our third raffle, we are moving on to raffle off something very exciting, a little get getaway, a complimentary one night stay in a fantasy land hotel theme room. So let's see, that's something that could be enjoyed by people of all ages. We're excited for this one. One, two, two, zero, four. That is very close to my number, but it is not it. Special winners, private message, community menorah lighting account here on our Zoom. And let's move on to our next raffle. We are raffling off for the next prize, a our second Israel Bonds $100 gift certificate. And our dreidel is ready to spin. <laughs> One zero nine 
923, Mazal Tov. You are the winner. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Shapiro for that prize. And we have for our next raffle prize, a catered family Shabbat dinner, which is brought by the Fagel Shapiro Kosher Pantry. And let's see, of course, all prepared in a very COVID safe way as that is of up. One, one, seven, six, zero. We are excited to find out who you are. Oh, I see in the big chat box, we have the Aviv, Karina Aviv family one, number three. Incredible. Keep your ticket. You will need that to claim your raffle. Keep that raffle card. And moving along. Our second gift card, thank you, Discovery Hut. We will be raffling off another $100 gift card to the Discovery Hut toy store. And wow, Mazal Tov to winner 11000. You are the winner for the second dollar, hundred dollar for the second hundred dollar gift card. Can't wait to find out who you are. And Mazel Tov to all the winners. I saw some questions come in, and yes, we will be posting tomorrow at menorah.ca all of the listed win um, winners, all of the numbers. That way, if you missed it, you will still be able to claim it as long as you have your raffle ticket. We got no name winners today; just numbers were chosen and we are so excited. Mazel tov to all of you that won. And now as we are really wrapping up such a beautiful evening together, I want to thank you all for joining us on behalf of everybody here. And let's continue sharing the light of Hanukkah in unique and creative ways for the next eight days. And I'm wishing everybody a safe, healthy, and happy Hanukkah. And to close off, Alex is going to take over again, Cantor Alex Stein, for the concluding song that is part of our ceremony all these years, a song that reflects our faith in a brighter tomorrow, the coming and revelation of Mashiach the ultimate physical and spiritual healing to the world. Alex, the mic is yours. <laughs>
Hello, everybody. Official program is over, but instead of the plan of just closing and kicking everyone out, how could we kick everybody out and just close our room over here? If anyone wants to unmute yourself, you're welcome to unmute yourself. Wish happy Hanukkah to our fellow Alberta community, Jewish community, and we could you can show us your menorahs, um, can wish, wish each other happy Hanukkah. And the Zoom meeting will be ending in a couple of minutes, but if anybody wants, we will give you permission here to allow participants to unmute yourself. Thank you to everybody behind the scenes that got this whole program rolling. And thank you to all of you for joining from your, from your homes and making this, this making this as special as it was. Rachi, maybe we should play the music another time? Do we want the song again? We can, we can get it on, or if anyone wants to unmute yourself, program's officially over. So <laughs> now the, now's the community unofficial, the, the gathering after when we all need to eat our latkes at City Hall. We're not in City Hall and we didn't give you latkes. But you did get your Latka mix. So if you didn't make your Latka mix yet, this will save you a whole bunch of time and steps. So you can get those Latkas frying and, and celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah. 
So much. Happy birthday. 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 Happ